Mike, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to uh, to hearing you, but more than anything else, I'm looking forward to some of the stories that you tell me about the time, you know, because it sounds like, you know, you kind of got it down. The one thing that I can tell you is that Mike's wife, Julie, was retired. And now that he's retired, she decided to go out and get a job. She couldn't figure it out. <laughs> and I'm looking at my wife, if, it, if I should retire, then what the world are you going to do? Because both of us can't be retired. I told somebody, I said, the UPS truck's got a little trench right up in front of my yard, and she just sits there and all this stuff all day. <laughs> I don't know if you can have two people sitting there not working and that kind of walking up that dog on the street every day, so we got to figure this out. At the same time, Mike, uh, we excited to have you here. Looking forward to you coming for many more years, you know, even after, you know, you retire, we expect for you to continue to come and be our guy this first week every year. So, Without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Coach Mike Gibbs. I hope and I pray that kids today will finally find out the secret to life. And the secret, I think, to life, it starts with a goat. How many people have ever had a goat? Raise your hand. Okay. How many people have had goat cheese? Raise your hand. Okay. No goat cheese. Goat. Goat. There's an acronym there. Goat, greatest of all time. Greatest of all time. Who's the greatest player of all time? Do you know? Coach, you've been here since uh, Noah started building the ark. <laughs> greatest of all time. Yeah, yeah. Coach hit the mark on that one. But we have all these guys that come out and all these players that come out. And I coached a total of 46 years. And the thing of it is, I had players, I had players that I thought at the time were the greatest of all time. But you know what happened? Somebody else came along. Somebody else came along and took his place. Well, to all you guys out there that are in this game called sport, called football, don't get too full of yourself. Because there's going to be somebody someday come along and they're going to take your place. You may think that you deserve a statue, but I promise you, you don't. All you deserve is a chance in life. A chance to be the best you you can be. You know, the, the greatest of all time deal, well, when I first started coaching, we won a bunch of games. And guess what? I was thinking, hey, I'm pretty close to that greatest of all time deal. And then all of a sudden, you get smacked in the face and reality strikes because you go, oh, 10 and one. You ever try to go out and recruit off of the season of 0, 10, and 1? You ball coaches, huh? Be pretty tough, wouldn't it? You got to have a plan. I had my plan. I would go in and I would recruit and I would give them the story and inevitably the student athlete would say, Coach, how many games did you win last year? <laughs> And I go, oh, uh, 10 and 1. Great season, coach. Great season. Oh, 10 and 1. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? I went oh, 10 and 1. 
and the moral of the story was 0, 10, and 1, what was I going to do next? 0, 10, and 1. So what? Now, that's the thing you better understand right now. That it's not the so what that's the important thing. It's the now what. You get your teeth kicked in, they score 35 on you, and guess what? You're 0-10 and 1. Now what? You lay down, you back down, you quit, you give up, you give in, you give out. What is it that you're going to do? You got to fight the fight. You got to believe the dream. You got to chase the dream. You got to do everything you can do to make sure that you, the best you, can be because you know what? There's other guys that are counting on you, and they're counting on you hard. They're looking to you hard. Now, who's those other guys? Is it your teammate? Is it your assistant coach? Is it your wife? Is it your child? Is it your mother? What is it? We go through this thing and th all this ball and all the glit and the glamour and poles and this and that. But the thing is, is that really the most important thing? Oh, it's cool. It's great to win. But the bottom line is, are you the best you you can be?